cesium-137, 137, 55 CS, CS-137, cesium-137, or radius amesium, is a radioactive isotope of cesium which is formed as one of the more common fission products by the nuclear fission of uranium-235 and other fissionable isotopes in nuclear reactors and nuclear weapons. It is among the most problematic of the short to medium lifetime fission products because it easily moves and spreads in nature due to the high water solubility of cesium's most common chemical compounds, which are salts. Decay Cesium-137 has a half-life of about 30.17 years. About 95% decays by beta emission to a metastable nuclear isomer of barium, barium-137M. The remainder directly populates the ground state of barium-137, which is stable. Bar-137M has a half-life of about 153 seconds, and is responsible for all of the emissions of gamma rays in samples of cesium-137. 1 gram of cesium-137 has an activity of 3.215 terabecquerel. The main photon peak of Bar-137M is 662 keV. Uses, cesium-137 has a number of practical uses. In small amounts, it is used to calibrate radiation detection equipment. In medicine, it is used in radiation therapy. In industry, it is used in flow meters, thickness gauges, moisture density gauges, and in gamma ray wear logging devices. Cesium-137 is not widely used for industrial radiography because it is quite chemically reactive, and hence, difficult to handle. The salts of cesium are also soluble in water, and this complicates the safe handling of cesium. Cobalt-60, 60, 60, 27 Co, is preferred for radiography since it is chemically a rather known reactive metal offering higher energy gamma ray photons. As a man-made isotope it has been used to date wine and detect counterfeits and as a relative dating material for assessing the age of sedimentation occurring after 1954. Health risk of radioactive cesium, cesium-137 reacts with water producing a water-soluble compound. The biological behavior of cesium is similar to that of potassium and rubidium. After entering the body, cesium gets more or less uniformly distributed throughout the body, with the highest concentrations in soft tissue. The biological half-life of cesium is rather short at about 70 days. A 1972 experiment showed that when dogs are subjected to a whole body burden of 3800 I1 quarter kg of cesium-137, they die within 33 days, while animals with half of that burden all survived for a year. Accidental ingestion of cesium-137 can be treated with Prussian blue, which binds to it chemically and reduces the biological half-life to 30 days. Radioactive cesium in the environment Small amounts of cesium-134 and cesium-137 were released into the environment during nearly all nuclear weapon tests and some nuclear accidents, most notably the Chernobyl disaster and the Fukushima Daiichi disaster. As of 2005, cesium-137 is the principal source of radiation in the zone of alienation around the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Together with cesium-134, iodine-131, and strontium-90, cesium-137 was among the isotopes distributed by the reactor explosion that constitute the greatest risk to health. The mean contamination of cesium-137 in Germany following the Chernobyl disaster was 2,000 to 4,000 becquerels per meter 2. This corresponds to a contamination of 1 mg per kilometer 2 of cesium-137, totaling about 500 grams deposited over all of Germany. In Scandinavia, some reindeer and sheep exceeded the Norwegian legal limit 26 years after Chernobyl. In April 2011, Elevated levels of cesium-137 were also being found in the environment after the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disasters in Japan. In July 2011, meat from 11 cows shipped to Tokyo from Fukushima Prefecture was found to have 1,530 to 3,200 becquerels per kilogram of CS-137, considerably exceeding the Japanese legal limit of 500 becquerels per kilogram at that time. In March 2013, 
the Japanese utility that owns the tsunami-damaged nuclear power plant said that it had detected a record 740,000 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive cesium in a fish caught close to the plant. That is 7,400 times the government limit for safe human consumption. Cesium-137 is reported to be the major health concern in Fukushima. The government is under pressure to clean up radioactivity from Fukushima from as much land as possible so that some of the 110,000 people can return. A number of techniques are being considered that will be able to strip out 80 to 95 percent of the cesium from contaminated soil and other materials efficiently and without destroying the organic material in the soil. These include hydrothermal blasting. The cesium precipitated with ferric ferricianide would be the only waste requiring special burial sites. The aim is to get annual exposure from the contaminated environment down to 1 millisievert above background. The most contaminated area where radiation doses are greater than 50 msv year must remain off limits, but some areas that are currently less than 5 msv year may be decontaminated allowing 22,000 residents to return. Cesium-137 in the environment is anthropogenic. Unlike most other radioisotopes, cesium-137 is not produced from the same elements non-radioactive isotopes but as a byproduct of the nuclear fission of much heavier elements, meaning that until the building of the first artificial nuclear reactor, the Chicago Pile 1, in late 1942, it had not occurred on Earth in significant amounts for approximately 1.7 billion years. By observing the characteristic gamma rays emitted by this isotope, it is possible to determine whether the contents of a given sealed container were made before or after the first atomic bomb explosion, which spread some of it into the atmosphere, quickly distributing trace amounts of it around the globe. This procedure has been used by researchers to check the authenticity of certain rare wines, most notably the purported Jefferson bottles. It is also possible to date soils and sediments given the short life of CS-137 across the Earth's entire surface. Incidents and accidents, cesium-137 gamma sources have been involved in several radiological accidents and incidents. Perhaps the best-known case is the goya Centnia accident of 1987, in which an improperly disposed of radiation therapy system from an abandoned clinic in the city of goya Centnia, Brazil, was scavenged from a junkyard and the glowing cesium salt sold to curious, uneducated buyers. This led to four deaths and several serious injuries from radiation exposure. Cesium gamma ray sources that have been encased in metallic housings can be mixed in with scrap metal on its way to smelters, resulting in production of steel contaminated with radioactivity. The Crematus radiological accident happened in 1989 when a small capsule containing highly radioactive cesium-137 was found inside the concrete wall of an apartment building in Krematorsk, Ukrainian SSR. It is believed that the capsule, originally a part of a measurement device, was lost in the late 1970s and ended up mixed with gravel used to construct the building in 1980. Over nine years, two families lived in the apartment. By the time the capsule was discovered, six residents of the building had died from leukemia and 17 more had received varying doses of radiation. One notable example was the Acerinox accident of 1998, when the Spanish recycling company Acerinox accidentally melted down a mass of radioactive cesium-137 that came from a gamma-ray generator. In 2009, a Chinese cement company was demolishing an old, and used cement plant and did not follow standards for handling radioactive materials. This caused some cesium-137 from a measuring instrument to be included with eight truckloads of scrap metal on its way to a steel mill, where the radioactive cesium was melted down into the steel. In March 2015 a Norwegian university lost eight radioactive samples including samples of cesium-137, AMDU-41 and strontium-90. The samples was moved out of a secure location to be used in education. When the samples were supposed to be returned the university was unable to find them. As of November 4, 2015 the samples are still missing. See also, commonly used gamma-emitting isotopes. References Bibliography, Rolf A. Olson Transfer of radius amesium from soil to plants and fungi in seminatural ecosystems. 
Nordic Radioi Collegia Euro the transfer of radionuclides through Nordic ecosystems to man. Studies in Environmental Science. Volume 62, pages 265 a Euro 286. External links, NLM Hazardous Substances Data Bank a Euro Cesium, Radioactive, Cesium-137 Dirty Bombs by Theodore Lyolios.